Grid is live. Hi everyone, I'm Mtro and welcome to my first ever how to video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download Twitch clips. Recently, Twitch made a change that's preventing people from downloading their Twitch clips. So I posted about that on when I found out about it, and this post got a good amount of attention and a couple solutions. I'm going to show you how to use two of those solutions to get access to downloading Twitch clips again. Right now, when you go into your dashboard clips page, open up one of the clips and you right click it, it no longer shows you the options to save the video as a file, an MP4 file. First and most popular solution is to use Adblock Plus. So Firefox, and I'm sure it's similar in Chrome and others. Just go into your add-ons. For Adblock. Install it, and once it's installed, enable it. Open up the options. Down to Advanced, scroll down to My Filter List. Copy what's in this code block. Edit Filters, Paste, Save. What this does is it captures the overlay that's preventing you from getting the download option, and it blocks it from loading. To enable that on and put this in the filters, go back to the clips page, fresh, right click it, there it is, say video as. Same applies for the option is back and it wasn't before. The other solution, and this is how it looked like before, and you could just download it without having to do any kind of workaround. The other solution that was recommended, let me disable this, that I can hit fucking press this. There you go, so it's not showing. Let's open this too so you can see. Not showing the download option there either. Solution that was recommended was to use the browser inspector. And it's, it sounds complicated, it's really not, but you have to do this each time you load a web page. So, for example, if I open up each of these clips on each tab, I'd have to go into the inspector and delete. Uh, you know, I'll just show you. So, you Open Inspect, you right click over the video, click Inspect, press Delete. What it's telling you is to right click it here or anywhere. Inspect the element. And here it's highlighting that same player overlay that the um, ad block was blocking. But since it's already highlighted, just click Delete. Close the inspector. And it happens automatically. So it's a couple extra steps, and you have to do it each time you load a video, but it works, and you don't have to worry about blocking ads or anything else like that. If you plan on using the inspector option to download clips from your clips page, this clips page, there's an extra step, an extra thing you need to delete. Clips, and you right click it, inspect the element. The presentation. Well, first I'll show you. Presentation is the only thing you deleted from the other video. So when you do this, inspector, it doesn't show up. You inspect again, highlights this JavaScript pause overlay. Delete that. Close it. Now you can download the video again. So that's an extra step, but you can still download it. The difference between this page and this page is this page downloads in full resolution. This page downloads in smaller resolution. If you want full resolution, you can get it from here. If you don't mind a smaller resolution, you can get it from here. And um, you also have to do it for each video, because each of these has its own um, 
overlay. It's a pain. Um, but if you don't want to install any add-ons, then you can use the inspector. Like I said, it doesn't take that many extra steps. There it is. So once again, thank you to everyone on Reddit that posted about these solutions. Um, I don't know how to say that, but this guy. This guy. If you guys have other solutions, feel free to send them directly to me, post them in the comments, reply to this Reddit thread. Again, I'm linking it in the description so you guys can find the Reddit thread and get involved if you want.